it really doesn't feel genuine for me to proceed with a donation at this point and i instead wanted to actually do take my time keep the intent that i had but just doing it with the right charity and doing it properly so i just wanted to make that clear i'm sorry for all the confusion and i'm sorry for messing this up that's what i do <laughs> let's get on with the video that's right PewDiePie made Ethan Klein look dumb as hell. But, but don't worry, don't worry. He made me look really stupid as well as a bunch of other people too. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So this video is probably going live right in the middle of the democratic debates. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. I'm gonna be like doing like tweeting like during the democratic debates and stuff like that. But I'm also planning on doing some videos, more videos just about politics and things like that and following the campaign trails of everybody and starting some discussion. So I need your input. So follow me on social media. All right, so anyways, by now, you probably saw that PewDiePie retracted his $50,000, all right, that he was donating to the ADL, all right? So when he did that yesterday, obviously there was a bunch of backlash and, you know, people on both sides of this thing. So yeah, after he donated the money and obviously there was, you know, some uproar, there were people who were coming out and defending him or not even saying like, hey, ADL is the best organization for him to donate to. They were understanding why he did donate it. So one of the other creators here on this platform, some of you might know her, Shu on Head, she said this and she was talking about it and then the, the part right below is her scrolling through all of the disgusting comments <laughs> that she was reading, right? So Shu on Head went out there, showed PewDiePie some support. Then Ethan Klein of H3H3 H3 Productions, he ended up tweeting out, kind of making fun of everybody who was all ticked off because PewDiePie made this donation. And he ended up getting into it with the quartering, and then the quartering started calling him a shill or a cuck or whatever the cool language is that people like to use these days. And then he said he was making a video on Ethan Klein, which Ethan already knew was going to happen. And then after seeing these people supporting PewDiePie, I'm like, you know what? You know what? My dumb ass is like, I'm gonna double down. I'm gonna double down and I'm gonna make another video further explaining why Felix did this. So I release another video and then our buddy Felix decides to let us all know that he retracted his $50,000. I have some opinions on that. But first, I wanna talk about this fascinating book I've been reading called The Righteous Mind. And it's about moral psychology. It's about this, area of psychology I didn't even know existed, but I absolutely find it fascinating. I find it fascinating because everybody thinks they're right. Everybody is the hero of their own story. But I just finished up a part where I was talking about the moral matrices, all right? So let me have the author, Jonathan Haidt, explain that real quick. Four, moral matrices bind people together and blind them to the coherence or even existence of other matrices. This makes it very difficult for people to consider the possibility that there might really be more than one form of moral truth or more than one valid framework for judging people or running a society. So yeah, that's at the end of the chapter where he kind of summarizes it, it's a lot more detailed. I'll, I'll put the link to that book down in the description below. But yeah, the thing is like, we all have our own morals and our values and, and like we always think that we're right. And it just blows my mind because I sit, I sit back and I, for those of you who know me, I am just so, so fascinated with human behavior. Like we are the silliest creatures. Like if you have a pet, like we have two cats who act really silly. Like us humans, we are just so, so damn silly. All right, so I look and I just monitor all this. And I'm just like, how does nobody recognize what's happening, all right? Here's one of the things that I mean by this, all right? So a lot of people were upset okay, that PewDiePie donated to the ADL, 
question is why? Because ADL creates a ruckus and gets a big mob of people to try to push their values and their ideas, all right? And people say, oh my God, the hate mob. I can't believe you're doing this and trying to cancel people, ah, right? And then those same exact people who are upset about the tactics that the ADL uses, they then rally up against PewDiePie to get their way, all right? The only thing that separates the two sides in any of the situations that we witness on a day-to-day -day basis is what people personally feel is right. You know what I mean? And I just wish, I wish more of us could just have the self-awareness to sit back and say, oh, I'm using the same tactics they're using. And in this book, by the way, it explains a lot of why we do this. And I'm like halfway through the book, but the solution that I'm seeing right now is just like, practice some some damn self-awareness, right? Like, we need to understand that everybody comes from different walks of life. Everybody has different experiences, you know? And like, just the way I, I watch people get so, so pissed off about things and thinking, I'm right, I'm so right. Like, here's an interesting fact for you. Our beliefs, when our beliefs are confirmed, you might've heard of confirmation bias, it actually gives us spurts of dopamine. So we look for things that confirm our beliefs. Like, aha, see, I told you so. There's some really interesting studies that they've done on this. But when your beliefs are challenged, when something that you believe is challenged, it hurts. It hits the, the pain receptors of your brain. Even though you don't feel it physically, your brain kicks into a little bit of a fight or flight response, all right? So we just need to acknowledge this. So I know everybody has such strong opinions on things, but you gotta realize, no matter where you're at in life right now, you, me, everybody else on planet Earth, we are just the sum of every life experience we've had up until this moment. And like, it's just, I wish we were more aware of that when we're arguing and all these things, because if you look at this from the, from the outside point of view and just kind of look at both sides of any situation, you just see hypocrisy left and right. And you're like, does anybody notice this or am I just crazy? All right, so next time you're gonna get outraged and things like that, ask yourself like, would I criticize, would I criticize somebody for doing the same thing that I'm doing right now. My final thoughts on this, I don't know, I don't think it was a big deal that PewDiePie donated $50,000 to the ADL, like really that's like, that'd be like me giving you a quarter. Not even a quarter, that'd be like me giving you a penny. Like, <laughs> it was nothing. So PewDiePie says he's going to give it to another organization and we don't know what that is. I'm assuming like a safe one, like, you know, St. Jude's or some cancer research or something like that. I'll tell you what bumps me out a little bit. On my first or second video, that I did on this story, um, there was somebody from Christchurch who left a comment and they were like happy. They were happy that, you know, PewDiePie was doing something and donating to this organization. You know what I mean? So because of the angry mob that came after PewDiePie who thinks that, you know, we should be able to just, you know, say whatever, whatever we want and like, hey, I believe we should be able to say a lot of things, but like, all these people, like I read a comment in my last video, like those are the people who influenced PewDiePie. And I thought he was doing this whole cleansing thing and that's obviously not what it was. But you know, the last thing I'll say too is like, it bums me out that somebody with so much power like PewDiePie will bend to the will of the hate mob. Like he wasn't losing anything. That's why I thought it was such a genius strategy. I'm like, okay, you're just getting all the, the crap posters out of your community. That's dope, you're doing a nice little cleanse, but he bent to the will. And yeah, I have some ideas of why that happened, but maybe I'll save that for another video. Anyways, don't forget, we always think we're right. We're the hero of our own story. We do the things we accuse other people of doing. We're just the silliest, most hypocritical creatures on the planet. It's kind of interesting. But anyways, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel by buying merch and my books and all that kind of stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.